What's going on y'all? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, cleanpowerwash.com. I want to talk about Facebook marketing and having contractors or other friends like your page. Um, people make a bigger issue out of this than it really should be. Um, ultimately, yes, perfect world. Um, the only people that would like my page or any other business's page would be prospects or customers. Um, certainly that's who you want to be advertising to. Um, if you invite me to like your business page, I will just hit the decline or ignore. Um, occasionally I'll see something that's really cool and I, I want to like their page. But having Rob Anderson like your business page doesn't really have a as significant of a positive impact um, as you would hope. Um, certainly every like counts. Um, there is absolutely truth to the merit that this can mess up your the algorithm for targeting um, because Facebook starts to see, well, Clean Power Wash in Salisbury, Maryland, uh, they have people from all over the United States that like their, their posts and pictures and videos and have liked their page. Great. Um, you know, we've got 1,800... Sorry, I'm fidgeting in here. Uh, we've got a little over 1,800 likes on the page right now. Um, I would guess somewhere in the 300 to 500 range of those likes are people that are people that watch this channel um, or that know me from another pressure washing group um, or that want to follow us to see how we do different procedures and things. Um, and that's a necessary um, bit of inefficiency for me by having people like that because it you know helps out on the YouTube channel and helps you guys which is what I care about is helping people um, grow their businesses um, as far as targeting that's why my targeting is based off of an age range and location um, the fact that um, you know somebody out in Texas that's a power washer subscribes to or likes my page and they see it um, you know running ads to people who like my page and their friends which is a very useful um, feature is going to be less efficient because if I do it just strictly as that that characteristic it would have you know the person in Texas and some of their friends would see it and Facebook knows that power washing information is interesting to other power washers. Shocker. We, we're addicted to this. Uh, we love our before and afters and all that. Um, I would recommend against inviting every single person on your friend list to like your page. Um, uh, especially if you're new, I would recommend uh, once or twice a month to go through your friend list for people that are local and invite every single one of them. Even if your friends are 20 and they're not gonna be hiring you to power wash, it's more people in that local area that are going to like your page. Um, if they engage with it, great. Sometimes it really and truly is a number game. Um, you know, the page that has 50 likes versus the one that has 500 likes. The page that has two reviews versus 100 reviews. It's all about numbers. I mean, that, that's gonna make you feel better. It doesn't necessarily add um, you know, each one isn't a valuable like, but all likes are valuable. Um, and then when you do the targeting, you can set it to people who like the page and their friends. And then you can exclude, like for me, for I only want to market to people in Maryland and Delaware. Um, some people in Pennsylvania because they have beach houses and things. Uh, but in general, we won't mess with, you know, we, we can exclude other areas. We can do that whole, you know, do multiple layers of targeting, create that audience. And that's stuff that you're going to definitely want to do in the ads area um, of your um, Facebook page. So you can create that special audience. Um, but again, the vast majority of our success with social media marketing is literally just 35 or 36 to, sometimes we'll cap it at 62, sometimes we just do 65 plus. Um, and then pick our cities or do a pin drop and say, you know, we want this area here, which obviously doesn't include West Virginia, Virginia, 
uh, California. None of that stuff's included. So, um, again, it, and it, it's it's the whole thing, and not to go political, but um, as humans, yes, we, we cause some global warming. Do we cause as much as the people on, on one side say we do, uh, or as little impact as the other people on the other side say? And we're probably somewhere in between. You know, yes, there's inefficiencies, uh, but also when you're talking about a media that lets you get in front of people for one or two cents per person that you're, you're getting in front of, oh no, uh, 300 of you are, are my contractor friends that like the page. Uh, so it costs me 50 cents, 45 cents a day because you guys see it. And you're seeing it, you're part of the organic that's seeing it. The more likes because I get, um, you know, certain contractors that like basically every single post that I put up, it, that's helping me get to that initial organic level. And yes, from an algorithm standpoint, it, it's kind of skewing it, but also the raw data of, hey, there's 25 people that have liked this. There's 500 people that have already engaged with this um, on an organic basis. Facebook wants to put more content out in front of more people. Um, so again, do not go through and invite every single person in Spray Wash Academy or Power Wash Community Group or Don't Suck at Facebook or whatever other group uh, to like your page. But if you like one of my images, if you like one of my posts, I am going to invite you to like the page uh, for two reasons. One, you've engaged with it and it's a, it had the little invite button, so I'm hitting that. And two, because quite frankly, I don't care enough to scream you guys out. Um, it, it would be a um, futile uh, attempt to eliminate all the contractors that like my page. I'm also not going to block them, but don't, don't send me a bunch of requests to, to like your page now. All right. Have a great day.